So, um, in the next example, in the next example, we can go ahead and look at guys factorization again. We can do the same thing like we did over here, but. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a, of a trick, remember, to kind of make it um, a little bit simpler. Now, as far as 125, if you don't already know what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 125, then you would want to break it down using factoring, which would be 5 times 25, 5 times 5. So the cube root of 125 prime factorized would be 5 times 5 times 5. So therefore, we can say the cube root of 125 is just going to be 5. five. Very good. Now. Here's where I'm going to change my, change my approach. Rather than factorizing, prime factorizing x to the 6 as x times x times x times x times x times x, times x, times x I can take the cube root of x to what power? The third, right? So what I'm going to do is rewrite x to the 6th as, as x to the thirds. So how many times do I need to multiply x to the third to give me x to the 6th? I just need to multiply it twice x cubed times x cubed gives me x to the sixth. Did you guys agree with me? Yeah. OK. And then y to the ninth, I can rewrite as y cubed times y cubed times y cubed. Because now I can take the cube root of x cubed, right? The cube root of x cubed is what? Five. I'm sorry, the cube root of x cubed is just x. The cube root of 5, 100, 120, the cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of x cubed is x. And then this is going to be y times y times y. So now I can simplify. x times x gives me x squared. y times y times y gives me y cubed. Yep, that would be using the power rule.